Hi, welcome to today's APO Productivity Talk. My name is Rie Minamoto, and I am a program officer for the APO Secretariat. Today, we are going to talk about inclusive rural development. Inclusive rural development involves changes in socioeconomic aspects, in the quality of life, as well as reductions in gender and income inequalities. Through inclusive rural development, productivity enhancement can be achieved along with inclusive engagement and shared prosperity in rural economies. So the question is, how can inclusive rural development be enhanced? For the presentation and discussion on this topic, we will have Dr. chang Yu Kim, invited professor at Seoul National University Asia Center in the Republic of Korea. Good afternoon, Dr. Kim. Great to see you. Good morning. Good, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very everybody. much for joining us today. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. Let me introduce you to viewers a little. Dr. chang Yu Kim obtained PhD in Agricultural Economics in Oklahoma State University, USA, majoring in Resource and Environmental Economics. He has published a number of publications, especially in the area of agriculture and rural economy. He has also served for various positions, such as the President of Korea Rural Economic Institute, President of Korean Agricultural Economics Association and the Chair of Joint Working Party of Committee on Agriculture and the Environment of OECD. Today, Dr. chang Gil Kim will introduce the concept of inclusive rural development and highlight the challenges and opportunities for promoting it he will also discuss the importance of the integrated rural development approach with economic, social, and political dimensions and share good practices in the Republic of Korea. Without further ado, we would like to proceed to the presentation. Uh, Dr. Kim, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, thank you for a generous introduction for me. Uh, today is my uh, title, lecture title is Inclusive Rural Development. Uh, my lecture is uh, divided in five parts. Uh, first part is uh, overview of inclusive development, uh, including concept of uh, inclusive rural development and other related uh, uh, terms. The second part is uh, how to enhance uh, inclusive de development. Uh, and then uh, in that part, I will suggest for the uh, integrated rural development and then uh, inclusive rural development uh, altogether. And then the third part is uh, policy for inclusive rural development in the Republic of Korea. The first is a direction for facilitating uh, inclusive rural demand, uh, development. Finally, uh, the way forward but concluding remarks. I think uh, uh, the concept of inclusive rural uh, development is a fundamentally different uh, rural development, different from the traditional concept in the sense that uh, the improvement in indicator like uh, uh, growth and income output are not sufficient for it. Everybody knows that inclusive, inclusiveness, inclusiveness, inclusiveness means that the quality of uh, in including many different type of people and treating them all fairly uh, uh, and uh, all fairly and equality. Originally, inclusive rural uh, development was initiated the uh, concept 
of IFAD, International Fund for Agricultural Development, in 2016. This concept is a multi-dimensional concept. There are five components. Uh, the first one, the most important thing is a rising agricultural in uh, productivity. The second component, increasing marketable surpluses. The third component, expanding all-farm employment community opportunities. The fourth three, better access to services and infrastructure. Uh, finally, uh, capacity to influence policy all lead to uh, improved rural livelihoods and inclusive growth. So in order to uh, uh, this concept, uh, we have to uh, remind the already mentioned about five components. However, I would like to add five uh, components is uh, three dimension. Some economic dimension is uh, productivity and market surplus and of um, employment. This is economic concern. And then uh, social uh, dimension is better access to service. And the uh, political dimension is capacity to influence uh, policy uh, or lead to rural livelihood and then some uh, inclusive growth. Uh, this is a Pentagon diagram for uh, ideal concept is um, Rural in, uh, inclusive rural development is a five component. It depends each country different uh, the, uh, a component. Some uh, evaluate agricultural productivities. Some countries are quite good. However, uh, uh, country two is uh, uh, service and infrastructure accessibility is low. Maybe this kind of my idea. Dif different country and different evaluate some uh, in, uh, in inclusive rural development. So everybody remember, so five components in the Pentagon of uh, inclusive rural development. However, this is three dimension in social economic dimension, social dimension and political dimension. The concept uh, inclusive growth, in have to, we have to understand this concept uh, originally inclusive growth concept uh, provided by uh, OECD in 2018. Uh, inclusive growth is an economic growth that is distributed fairly across society and that creates opportunities for all. This uh, approach is a new approach to economic growth that aims to improving living standards and share the benefit of increased prosperity, uh, more evenly across social groups. I think uh, OECD suggests for the dashboard for the inclusive growth, uh, growth and ensuring uh, ensuring the benefits uh, from uh, growth, inclusive and well functioning the market, and equal opportunities and foundation of future uh, prosperity. Finally, in governance. Uh, there are several relevant uh, uh, terms regarding to uh, inclusive rural development. Uh, I if I suggest for the Venn diagram, um, there are some uh, rural in order to uh, rural poverty reduction and inclusion. There is there are some uh, several concepts: agricultural uh, development and rural uh, development, also rural transformation or some inclusive uh, rural development, inclusive rural transformation, and structural transformation. The first one is uh, inclusive agricultural development means that improving the quality of life and economic well-being of farmers and, and, and herders and agricultural workers. This is a basic uh, uh, in, in concept in agricultural development. Next is the rural development. How to define the rural development is a process of improving uh, the opportunity or, and well-being of rural people and changing the characteristics of rural society. Uh, it involves uh, human development and social and economic environmental objective 
as opposed to just uh, economic ones. Also, uh, rural developments uh, encompass health, education, and other social services. And then rural transformation. Uh, rural transformation is uh, several component. Uh, uh, very important one is uh, rising agricultural productivity and uh, agricultural processing. Also, uh, rural transformation is a technically, uh, technologically advanced, efficient, competitive agriculture. A uh, third so component is increasing commercialization and marketable surplus. Uh, also, uh, better rural coverage and access to services and in infrastructure. So I think uh, inclusive rural uh, development also uh, based on the uh, rural transformation. And then some uh, structural uh, transformation. Structural transformation uh, is uh, both a, a cause and effect of economic growth. Also this concept involves uh, rising productivity in agriculture and urban economy. So structural terms transformation is regarding to some agricultural sector and urban sector also. Also growing uh, urban, rural and urban migration and urbanization. Uh, finally, uh, this concept also increasing importance of industry and service sectors. And then uh, I would like to uh, emphasize the relationship between the rural and, and structural transformation. And uh, rural transformation happens as part of a broad process of a structural uh, transformation uh, shaped by the interlinkage between agriculture and the rural non-farm economy, manufacturing and services. Rural transformation is essential for uh, structural transformation. While uh, rural transformation uh, may generate both positive and negative effect of rural people, inclusive rural transformation must be made to happen. It will not happen automatically. So I'd like to emphasize the concept of inclusive rural development, uh, also inclusive rural transformation is a process in which rising agricultural productivity, increasing uh, marketable surplus, uh, expanded off-farm employment, op uh, op employment opportunity, better access to services and infrastructure, and finally, uh, capacity to policy influence, all lead to rural livelihood and uh, inclusive growth. How to enhance inclusive rural development? Uh, this is uh, based on the integrated approach to inclusive rural development. There are some uh, several uh, principles of uh, integrated rural development. Uh, there are several things. The first one is the innovative approach towards to rural development. And then some need and problem and solutions are enhanced in local people. That mean is a bottom-up approach. In recently, this kind of approach is a living nap approach, uh, including all together to stakeholders. And then intersector partnership and uh, local action group in reader. I think um, reader is very important and interactive approach, expert with people rather than uh, for people. Also integrated approach in all areas of life and strategic approach a long-term wise and sustainable uh, programming of development. Finally, uh, preferable use of local resource endowment. This is an uh, principles of integrated rural development. Then importance of integrated approach to uh, integrated rural development. Uh, why? Uh, in integrate uh, rural development is important. Uh, the first one is to promote the overall development of rural uh, poor, rural people. And then the effective and efficient approach for rural development. Also thirdly, able to identify, ide analyze and solve rural problems. Also provide for the tool 
for con uh, controlling unemployment and migration in rural area, also uh, help in optimum utilization of local uh, uh, resources. Finally, act as the catalyst to foster rural people's participation. As an illustrative example of uh, uh, inclusive rural development, uh, and then I, I would like to suggest for some illustrative example in Korean case, Republic of Korea case, the Korea Semaul Undong. That mean is uh, Semaul is a new village. Undong mean is a movement. So English name uh, is a new village movement. However, Semaul Undong is um, uh, very unique terminology in global society. So I use the Semaul Undong. Uh, Korea Samar Undong is uh, mainly implemented through community-driven uh, uh, program. Uh, this program is uh, uh, more comprehensive, uh, multi-level, uh, and multi-sector strategy. There are three uh, some uh, uh, three components, three uh, some kind of sense, the strong work ethics in diligence and cooperation and self-help. Is a, a this is a basic some philosophy of a Semar uh, uh, Undong. The background of Semar Undong is uh, uh, based on the, some transformation from a uh, traditional agri economy into an export oriented uh, industrial economy in 1960s of Republic of Korea. Uh, that is a high growth of export industry. At that time, uh, Korea economic uh, 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 system or economic uh, policy uh, uh, emphasized some high growth of export industry, special labor uh, intensive and right industry. This picture is a garment export factory in uh, 1960s in Republic of Korea. Also, uh, employment opportunities increasing in non-farm sector. At the time, also uh, global uh, rural and urban polarization or development gap is serious issue. So gross bit gap between the industrial sector and agricultural sector. Industrial sector gross rate is a 20% annually. However, in agricultural sector is a 1.5% during 1967 and, and nine to 1971. Also, urban living standard uh, improved much faster than that of uh, rural area, uh, decreasing of rural population uh, due to rural urban migration. Samao Rundong was initiated, uh, this is a picture uh, for the launching uh, Samao Rundong by President Park during uh, in uh, 1970, April 22, at National Council meeting of local ministers. Uh, there are several things. The first one is the cement distribution in the first year in 1970. The central government provide 300 bag of uh, cement village without charge of all uh, 33,000 uh, village of a count country of the winter season because of work uh, rest in the season, off season in farm, so in 1970, and then distributed steel wire distributed in the second year, 1971, the government provides strongly support for the uh, rural infrastructure. Also, uh, government uh, support for some pens installation, this is a picture, and then uh, rural uh, bridge uh, construction. A government to supply for the rural people and mobilize their community resources like labor and land and etc. The priority of rural uh, Samar Undong project, there are 10 uh, priority, each priority. And I, I think the first one is uh, village access road uh, to be strengthened and widened. And secondly, in the old bridge, uh, of a, a stream to be reconstructed and village road, a sewage system. Oh, this one is a thatched uh, loop. This is an old uh, culture in Korea, in rural sector, 
very typical in touched roof to be replaced by cement and made tile or some straight roofing, decent some, some straight roofing. And all the fences from uh, houses to be repaired and traditional well and village hall and rural electrification. Looking back upon my school there in my middle school or elementary school, early 1970, era rural electrification. And then finally, it's a village owned telephone installed. I think it's, uh, there are some uh, priority of rural uh, Samal Undong uh, uh, project in, Co in Republic of Korea. After that, there are sequential strategy for implementing Samal Undong. The first phase is in 19, during 1970 and 1973. This time is uh, uh, some contact, uh, typicalized the modernized rural village, uh, some cultivating, cultivating the rural environment expanding uh, production infrastructure, uh, establishing uh, some uh, a governance structure from top to bottom. And then second pace, during 1974 uh, to 1979, some create income generating activity. So this time, this pace is expanding the program across the whole uh, rural area, uh, introducing uh, some uh, uh, introducing uh, some urban area, that mean it's an uh, urban uh, Samal movement, uh, establishing some final stage, uh, some targeted self-reliance in rural village, improving productivity in factories and some green devolution in, in, in rural sector. There are success factors in uh, uh, of Samal Rundong in Republic of Korea, there are uh, six components. The first one is a central and local government intervention and support. Uh, all program is planned and conducted under the guardians of central governments. That mean is top down approach in basically. And then secondly provide incentive for communities showing excellent results. That mean is some performance result based uh, project. And then uh, so the wide range of people's participation in village level, uh, four three is homogeneous among farmers, and then uh, development of local uh, some administration in rural area. Uh, uh, finally, timely implementation of uh, Samarundong. These are success factors of uh, Samarundong. So uh, maybe uh, if you're interested in Samarundong your country also concerned about uh, this kind of success factors. However, different country and different perspective. And then some uh, uh, policy for integrated rural development in the Republic of Korea. Uh, after uh, 2079, I think uh, Samar movement uh, is uh, uh, finished because of uh, at that time as uh, initiate uh, by President Bach were assassinated at the time. So after then it's a new government uh, uh, emphasized a new development project. However, uh, all uh, program is a rural development is for enhancing for inclusive rural development. The first one is a village level development program in 2000. Uh, there was, uh, this program is emphasized uh, the public function of agriculture and rural area. So in the rural uh, areas, public function is the most important in, in uh, national agenda. So uh, government concern about some uh, progressive movement from conven convenience uh, towards the envi environment conservation. Also increasing importance of region specific condition I think uh, uh, changing from government to unilateral rural development to uh, participatory uh, rural uh, development. That means uh, from uh, top-down approach to a bottom-up approach. So uh, participatory uh, rural development uh, approach is important. And resident involved in policy uh, formulation. That is, I already mentioned about some uh, in inclusive rural development, the capacity 
factor, capacity to policy influence to uh, uh, or lead to rural livelihood and, and inclusive growth. So the select policy target uh, uh, some village through competition also increase residents' role in the process of village development. And then uh, rural entrepreneurship. I think uh, entrepreneurship is uh, very important for uh, inclusive rural development because of providing some income source uh, Korean development uh, uh, emphasize some rural tourism policy, so-called in this uh, green tourism, very similar terminology. I think uh, uh, the first one is creating a tourist village. Uh, this one is uh, some uh, typical tourist village, some picture in Korea, uh, some selected rural community uh, for uh, tourism through the contest. There are a lot of alternatives for the tourist village government to, uh, selected. Uh, which one is the most preferable uh, to the uh, uh, urban people or, uh, or rural residents? So various government agency engaged in this um, uh, project competitively in the tourist village program. Also government, there are a lot of uh, various support to promote rural uh, tourism some legal uh, rearrangement, some institutional uh, perspective, and then introdu introducing some insurance coverage and the uh, grading system for tourist village. It seems like uh, European, uh, some hotel leveling, five star, four star, three star kind of things. Also Korean uh, government, their grading system uh, for uh, the tourist village. And then uh, this, uh, uh, rural uh, tourism policy or rural, uh, rural tourism expanded uh, some sixth industrialization of agriculture. I'll mention about later this part. Rural entrepreneurship is uh, agricultural sixth industrialization. Originally sixth industrialization is a concept developed by some Tokyo University in early, uh, early 1990. There are some uh, six industrialized concept. Is the first industry is a primary. Second industry is um, a second industry is uh, manufacturing or other industry. Thirdly, our tertiary industries and service sector. So this all together then is multiplied by one, two, three is a six. So there's a multiply or all together concept was a convergence concept primary, second, and thirdly. Korean government enacted the act of uh, fixed industrialization of uh, agriculture in 2015. There are some setting up the certification of a sixth industrial industry business and provide a special uh, measures for the certified firms. Also, uh, this program is promote various economic activities in rural area. Uh, the combined the production or manufacturing and processing and rural tourism. That means it's the first uh, primary industry and manufacturing is the second industry or pro, uh, pro manufacturing and uh, processing is a second industry. Rural tourism is a kind of service, so, so tertiary industry. Altogether mean a sixth uh, industrialization. That's a typical example of a sixth industrialization is uh, rural uh, tourism. Okay, application and implication of rural Republic of Korea's experience. There are six factors. The first factor, the first one is uh, public sector leadership. I think uh, uh, every program uh, has a very important point is uh, leadership. Uh, readership is at the center of Republic of Korea's rural development. I think uh, uh, central government readership or local government readership or village level readership. I think readership is the most important thing. And then secondly is the residence involvement in rural development is vital factor. That means it's a kind of uh, uh, bottom up approach in, in palace formulation. So re residence uh, uh, environment important. And thirdly, is infrastructure uh, building, infrastructure building has a significant 
in, in rural development. That mean is infrastructure is a very uh, important factor for uh, 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 for inclusive rural development. The first three, uh, urban uh, rural connection is very uh, crucial tech because of all farm employment opportunity also uh, important in this uh, factors, urban and rural connection important factor. The uh, fifth three is the Republic of Korea is uh, different from uh, the rural development model for developing country widely used the global community. So uh, I think uh, uh, slightly different other uh, developing countries uh, rural development models. Finally, uh, to apply Korea expertise, a developing country should uh, compare its state with Korea, take away resin and suitable in its environment. I think there is no uh, one size fits all. So anyway, it's uh, every country has um, a different uh, unique uh, characteristic in each country's uh, and resource environment. The uh, section four is a direction for facilitating uh, inclusive rural development. The first thing is uh, commercializing smaller uh, agriculture. In Asian country, most of the country is uh, smallholder farming is a majority. So smallholders commercialization is important. Typical lead to increasing diversity of market uh, commodity at a uh, uh, national level and increase specialization at regional and farm level. Most uh, uh, small farmers is subsistence farm. So we have to concern about some commercialization is uh, uh, for uh, commercialization for the market surplus and uh, agricultural productivity. So we have to concern about some uh, smaller commercialization. Uh, agricultural uh, commercialization is a long transformation process from subsistence to semi-commercial and to fully commercialized agriculture. I think uh, that means it's an uh, important factor how to increase farm size in the long-term aspect. That's a good important point. And then stabilizing farm income. is a farm credit as a stabilizing, uh, 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 specializing uh, uh, device. I think in developing country, much concern about some microfinance in rural area, fostering inclusive rural uh, uh, development through the financial uh, inclusion. And then rural land farm diversification, I think uh, uh, expanded uh, uh, non-farm employment also important. So uh, they're engaging income diversification during the old farm season, especially in Korean case and, and winter season, the old farm season to escape the idleness and to uh, recognize their maximum capacity of labor. And upscaling uh, agricultural industry. I think uh, uh, in order to increase agriculture, uh, some value added or agriculture, uh, some uh, uh, contribution in, uh, in, we need for the combining some agricultural industry. Uh, and then uh, with the uh, food manufacturing sector or processing industry with the, uh, some marketing, dis marketing and distribution and already mentioned about some tourism service to uh, create value added. Also, we need for the uh, private, uh, public private partnership, we call some PPP in agriculture and rural sector in order to upscale agricultural industry, we need for that uh, PPP approach is important. This picture is a uh, uh, kind of some uh, uh, smart farming or some kind of uh, uh, some picture in Korea, in the processing sector, uh, some, uh, mm, some, pro some picture show that. Uh, finally, uh, no, 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 not finally, applying ICT smart technologies. In order to inclusive rural uh, development, we need for the some ICT smart technology, promoting smart farm and digital agriculture. I think a smart farm allows farmers to control, manage growing condition for crop and livestock in a uh, remote. I think we use mobile phone and other 
uh, an automatic manner and helping smart farming tackle with a typical challenge. Also digital uh, agriculture based on the, some digital um, uh, transformation. We need some value chain, all value chain in production, entire value chain production and processing and uh, some marketing and distribution, finally, and, and consumption. We need for some ICT smart technology apply for that. We call some uh, digital agriculture. Finally, strengthening capacity building, modernizing agricultural education and training program, so rural residence competence education. Uh, I think in that uh, area, rural women, key agents for achieving the transformation, uh, some economic, environmental, and social change required for inclusive rural development. I think rural women education is very important requiring some diverse ag agricultural education education, reinforced professional education. This is typical uh, Korean, uh, uh, some professional education invite from foreign expert in some air. Okay, that is my uh, today's lecture. Thank you so much for your presentation with very interesting examples of the Republic of Korea. Now, I'd like to ask you some questions, Dr. Kim. Then the first question is about one of the cases that you introduced in your presentation, which is Samaul Undon. Mm -hmm. You said that the Samaul Undon was initiated by a top-down approach by right. the government of the Republic mm -hmm. of Korea. Then I'd like to ask you, how did the government cooperate with other stakeholders, such as communities and the residents, to be involved in this project? Mm -hmm. I think uh, also the Semaol uh, Undong, uh, New Village Movement, I already mentioned about in my lecture, was a community-driven development program pursued during 1970 in the Republic of Korea. Uh, it was promoted by the government support pilot program. The government selects Semaol leaders for each village and intensively educate them to play a key role in promoting a project in each village. In order for residents to pa uh, participate voluntarily, various incentives and good villages, good villages were specially rewarded to uh, com uh, com compete. In order uh, to form a com uh, community for the rural residents through voluntary and self-help report by uh, local residents, residents themselves were encouraged to promote a private regional development policy that innovate lifestyle and uh, uh, mental uh, posture. A local residents were passive in uh, receiving support and guidance uh, from the administration so that they prepared the project plan for the uh, region and presented the administration to take initiative in promoting uh, the project with a favorable response from the administration. In particular, the uh, cooperative uh, spirit of the uh, Samar movement could be a tool, the uh, spontaneously of local uh, autonomy and the development of democracy. I see. So Samar Undon was uh, driven by the community and supported by the government. Right. So it's okay. Thank you very much. Then, about successful factors of Samar Undon. You said urban rural connection is was very crucial. So how has urban rural connection developed in the Samal Undon? Could you I think the Samal movement uh, in urban and uh, rural area were promoted differently. The urban and Samal movement is very different from the rural uh, Samal uh, Undon because it was centered on workplace. The workplace Samal movement uh, from a promotion organization for each functional organization, such as public institutions, uh, financial institutions, and, uh, and cultural institutions, and carried out projects such as um, uh, diligent drive, helping uh, new colleagues, improving productivity, uh, improving uh, quality, or improving service, purifying workplace, and other participating, uh, participating in various social movements. 
Mm, okay, thank you very much for sharing. So I would like to move on to the next topic, which is about integration of rural development to inclusive rural development. As you said, rural development is the process of improving the opportunities and well-beings of people in rural areas. So the question is, how can rural development be more inclusive? What are the challenges in promoting inclusive mm -hmm. rural development? I think uh, only when rural economy mm -hmm. uh, is more inclusive uh, can all farmers live well. As suggested uh, in my lecture, uh, the five components of uh, inclusive rural development uh, must be properly and well equipped to achieve a rural uh, economy, inclusive rural economy. I think it depends on the national uh, power uh, and some uh, people's mind innovation to build a well uh, equipped system at the economic and social and political uh, dimension. Mm -hmm. uh, originally, uh, I mentioned about some uh, uh, definition of uh, inclusive rural development. There are five components. So the challenge of inclusive rural development includes there are five factors. How to increase agricultural productivity, how to increase revenue from agricultural uh, product sales, how to increase non-farm income, or non-farm uh, employment opportunity. Uh, fourthly, how to uh, improve access to uh, services and infrastructure related to agricultural uh, farmer, rural farmers. Finally, how to improve uh, political capabilities to reflect farmers' opinion. In particular, uh, global challenges such as climate change uh, and recently COVID, uh, 19 and some infectious disease and environmental degradation have emerged recently. So it is necessary to find new and innovative way to reflect social change in inclusive rural development. Okay, thank you very much for your response. So uh, I would like to ask you about the roles of you know, each stakeholders later. But now I want to ask you about social issues can be solved by inclusive rural development. So as you explained, inclusive rural development is expected to improve living standards and share the benefits across social groups. So you mentioned some examples in your presentation, but could you tell us other possibilities? What kind of other social issues can be solved by inclusive rural development? Can you give us some examples? I think, uh, right, uh, as I mentioned my, in my lecture, uh, social problems through inclusive rural development include uh, improving access to uh, some administrative service, uh, convenience uh, facilities, and infrastructure uh, for uh, the uh, poor rural people, and low income and underprivileged, uh, minimizing inequality, among classes and uh, providing some social safety net uh, for the vulnerable group. Inclusive means a state in which all members feel a sense of belonging and feel stab stable by acknowledging each other's differences. Because inclusive growth encompass some fairness innovation and equity, inclusive rural development can also contribute to solving various conflict problems such as uh, conflict in the promotion of project in rural area and conflicts due to uh, differences in views of residents. So related to the point, I would like to also ask you about inclusiveness of mar marginalized people. In your presentation, you mentioned rural population, small scale farmers and women as potential participants in rural, inclusive rural development. So I would like to ask you, what roles can they play in inclusive rural development? And 
how can we establish the mechanisms of sharing benefits evenly across social groups? I think this question is very important and difficult questions. Uh, the participation of uh, uh, marginalized uh, uh, people uh, in rural area in inclusive rural development is very important issue. I think uh, it is important to show an experience that uh, rural development is linked with the actual income growth as the core issue of these classes is uh, related to some poverty issue. Since they are not well aware of the need, or need for rural development, uh, continuous education and promotion should be carried out in an easy to understand manner. The spirits of Ubuntu in South Africa, we are here to be together, is important. In the case of Samaul Undong in Republic of Korea, it is uh, easy to emphasize that the rural community presents the slogan, let's live well and promote it as a well-being movement so that all villagers can participate without the underprivileged. Closing the gap between the rich and poor is the key challenge for the, uh, for the agricultural sector in all countries. Most importantly, I think, it is the most important to increase productivity by applying developed uh, country, developed technology properly. In addition, distribution innovations such as storing, uh, uh, storage and processing agricultural products is also an important task so that the produced agricultural products can be sold at an, at an appropriate price in the market. In particular, since it is time to move away from the resource intensive agriculture in the past to knowledge intensive agriculture. So small farmers should also strive to realize digital agriculture, which encompasses small uh, smart agriculture and value chain as a whole in the production sector. To this end, education and training to strengthen the uh, capacity of farmers cannot be overemphasized. I see, thank you very much. So it seems like in Samal Undon, the communities are unified, so they cooperate each other to mm -hmm. make it, you know, to make it happen. Okay, thank you. Then uh, this is kind of a specific uh, question about the rural tourism. So as an example, you mentioned the rural tourism policy in the Republic of Korea in your presentation. So could you tell us how rural tourism could contribute to inclusiveness or inclusive rural development? I think rural country uh, tourism uh, farm income in economic term in uh, inclusive rural development. As mentioned in my lecture, uh, rural tourism is uh, some collective term uh, for uh, tourism in rural areas. Uh, the main purpose of rural tourism is to promote urban and rural exchange, uh, increase farmers' income, and uh, promote regional development by observing uh, the increasing demand for leisure in rural area by developing recreational resources, such as uh, natural scenery in rural areas. Uh, rural tourism provides urban residents with their space for rest, relaxation, and new experience, and rural area uh, provide income opportunity, such as agricultural product sales, primary industry, and then processing uh, specialty production is a second industry and, uh, and tourism and uh, food sales, there's a tertiary industry. In this respect, I would like to emphasize that uh, rural, rural tourism is the key sector of agricultural ethics industrialization. Okay, thank you very much. I think there are many countries who would like to uh, enhance or develop the rural tourism. So I think those informations are very uh, helpful. Okay, then my next question is about smart farm and digital agriculture. You mentioned in your presentation. 
So smart farm or digital agriculture could enhance rural economy. So how can they be maximized for inclusive rural development? So this is my question for you. As I uh, have presented in my lecture, uh, it is an important measure uh, to promote inclusive rural development. Digital agriculture refers to agriculture uh, that correct and store, manages, combine, analyze, and shares agricultural related production, distribution, and consumption, etc., and data in digital format to create decision making intelligence and new value. Digital agriculture is an agriculture that utilize new and advanced modern technologies throughout the entire process to improve agri food, uh, agricultural food productivity and sustainability, and is used a broad concept, including precision agriculture and smart farms. Uh, digital agriculture is uh, contributing significantly to the achievement of SDG, Sustainable Development Goal, uh, through the transformation uh, of uh, agri agricultural food systems throughout the value chain, agricultural value chain, such as production, processing, distribution, and consumption, and accelerating of rural development. In particular, it is thought that it will contribute significantly to the uh, inclusive rural development by uh, contributing to SDG number one is uh, no poverty, and SDG number two is zero hunger. Uh, recently, the FAO, Food Agriculture Organization, is actively promoting the expansion of a new technology, uh, uh, new high technology in rural area by introducing new village initiative to, to combat uh, pro uh, pro poverty worldwide. The Digital Village Initiative is an ambitious project to drive poverty reduction and digitalization in 1,000 uh, villages around the world, including the introduction of digital technology. At the request of FAO to Seoul National University, where I work together, I conducted in, uh, a study to make a report and video uh, data by analyzing the digitalization status of Korea, agri-food system, and establishing an ODA model. Uh, I also participate in this project as a researcher. Okay, thank you very much for your explanation and also introduction of the uh, new project initiated by FAO. So we hope that there will be you know, successful model cases so that other countries and regions can follow those uh, success. Then uh, this is the final question from me. And uh, earlier you mentioned about the three dimension, mm -hmm. the economic, social, and also mm -hmm. political. And uh, you also explained that five components are very important for inclusive rural development. Mm -hmm. Then now I would like to ask about roles, roles of each stakeholder for mm -hmm. inclusive rural development. Mm -hmm. So yeah, could you tell us your opinions on the roles of government, private sector, and public-private mm -hmm. partnerships to enhance inclusive rural development? I think a very important question for uh, successful uh, inclusive rural development. I think uh, for the successful implementation of uh, inclusive rural development, appropriate division of role between the government and local uh, government and farmers and public sectors uh, related agency and the public sector is uh, crucial. The government should be uh, in charge of, in charge of uh, developing specific implementation programs along with the comprehensive plan and uh, uh, some master plan as a control tower to overseeing the inclusive rural development. Also local government should also play an uh, important role in promoting inclusive rural development implementation program suitable for the region in accordance with the central government's plan. Farmers play an important role in imp implementing inclusive rural uh, development program in rural area. 
the agricultural cooperatives, agricultural uh, technology promotion agency, which are farmers' organization, should also play an important in helping farmers implement the inclusive rural development program. In private sector in food company and rural tourism companies and smart agriculture related company should uh, play an important role in revitalizing uh, business in related field so that uh, productivity improvement, value added improvement, and six industrialization can be achieved in connection with the agriculture. Yeah, thank you very much for your insights on each role. So uh, we are almost at the end of the session. So as a conclusion, could you give a message to our viewers who are watching today's session? Right, right. okay, thank you. Oh, now it's time to conclude uh, my remarks and the way forward. Uh, firstly, I would like to uh, refer today's my lecture. I think that the inclusive rural development is one of the key global challenges at a time when the uh, polarization of rural community as well as urban and rural polarization is deepening. So from a conceptual point of view, it contains five factors. I already mentioned increasing, uh, increased agricultural productivity, increased rising farmers' profitability, increased employment in non-farm sectors, also increased access to services and infrastructure, uh, finally, some uh, capacity building to Paris influence some that mean is uh, some political power in decision making in uh, rural people. Korea, uh, Republic of Korea's so Samao Undong, which began in 1970s, uh, can be approached as a model for comprehensive uh, rural uh, development as an innovative approach to eradicating the poverty in rural area at the time. And uh, at this uh, uh, at this uh, point, it can be presented as a representative example of inclusive rural development uh, of the Republic of Korea. It may be difficult for the Samuel uh, Undong to be a role model for uh, inclusive rural development in all developing countries, but I would like to emphasize that it can be model for regional rate rural development based on the, some. Uh, mental uh, reform, mentality reform. I think Samar Undong played a major role as a factor that made the Republic of Korea as a successful country for compressed growth. Uh, in order to establish inclusive rural development, uh, Korea has been promoting various policy programs such as revitalizing rural tourism and sixth industrialization as an example of uh, rural entrepreneurship in the 2000s and participating institutions such as the government, farmers, late organization have a play an important role, appropriate role. Future tasks are uh, uh, some for establishing inclusive rural development include uh, some promoting commercialization of small scale farmers, some uh, stabilizing farm income, revitalizing agriculture and related industry, uh, applying smart technology, and finally, uh, strengthening capacity through education and training. Ultimate goal and approach of uh, some inclusive rural development is improving the quality of life for all members of rural society. That's the essential lead for the holistic approach to realize inclusive rural development. I think uh, uh, finally, the ultimate goal I already mentioned about some inclusive rural development is to improve the quality of life of all members community. For this is a mindset which is shifted idea all related to some subject is needed. So it is necessary to think outside the box. That means it's an unorthodox innovation uh, for uh, like uh, think different, 
I think another, I think a uh, uh, positive. I will emphasize this part. Finally, I conclude that today's statement, closing statement. There is no one size fits all solution enhancing uh, inclusive rural development. And each country has its own priority. I think in order to become a country that responds to new inclusive rural development, a positive change of perspective and ideas on rural and agriculture are essential. Okay, I, fi I finally, as I advertised Einstein said that, I come to this, uh, my lecture, uh, quoting by saying, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and uh, expecting a different results. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for an inspiring message, Dr. Kim. We really appreciate your time. So today, we learned from Dr. Chang Yu Kim about inclusive rural development. I hope this session gave helpful information and inspiration to all of you. The APO will host more productivity talks and other digital programs featuring different guest speakers. Please join our series next time as well. We'll be looking forward to seeing you soon. I would like to thank everyone for being a part of this session today. And thank you very much for coming, Dr. Kim. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please take care and goodbye.